Hello friends, this is Ani. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do an estimation question. The question is estimate total number of Uber rides. So generally for any estimation questions, uh, I, I like to start with some clarifying questions. Uh, some clarifying questions here would be uh, are we what kind of rides are we uh, seeing like is it just car rides because uber has expanded into helicopter rides and uh, ferry rides and various other rides so uh, do we want to involve uh, include all those rides or just car rides so i expect the interviewer to say just car rides uh, also, it was good to clarify geographic location. So globally or just in US, I expect uh, the interviewer to just reduce the scope of the problem and uh, ask just in US. Again, then annual, monthly, weekly, daily, uh, it's up to you. How do you want to calculate? Annual is also easy. Daily is also easy. So let's go ahead with daily. Uh, are cancel ride included, meaning uh, Uber, uh, try Uber uh, riders kind of can call and cancel so yeah generally they are not included but it's always good to clarify total number of Uber rides total number of users into average rides per user right that's the broad Uber level uh, equation so always 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 in estimation question uh, try to segment the market uh, here you can go either ways uh, you can you can go via the riders because we are calculating rights or you can go via drivers assuming that the market is in equilibrium and uh, all drivers are busy all the time which might not be the case and that's why it's safer to go uh, via the users or the riders uh, to start with so yeah I've segmented the market in three types of uh, Uber riders, uh, power users, medium users, low users. So power users are like consultants or tourists. Uh, they use Uber at least two months per week. And they are 20% 20, 20 of the Uber's market, uh, market. Medium users, general population, 40% of Uber's market uh, uses Uber at least once per month, but not... Uh, in once per week and then finally there are low users meaning they have installed the app but they don't use uber that often uh, just because uh, maybe they just uh, take the car to work every day and they generally don't need uber but once in a while maybe once a quarter or once a year they need uber and that's 20% of the market. Uh, to simplify, uh, I'm just considering once per year uh, so that the calculations are easy, but you can always uh, clarify this with your interviewer. So let's say once per year. Now Uber's market size. Now, because all of the above were based on mark Uber's market, now we need to calculate what Uber's market is, like how many users or riders does it have. Uh, US, it's always good to start top down. US population, 300 million. Target age population, 15 to 65. Uh, so yeah, considering uh, the life expectancy in US, 79, 80-ish. So there are 15 at the bottom, which we 15 years and 15 at the top. And uh, I'm considering... Uh, equal distribution across different ages. US is a little uh, uh, lopsided towards uh, seniority because uh, US's average population age is 47. Uh, but yeah, for the sake of convenience of calculations, I am taking equal distribution. So uh, we are just considering 50 number of years in the middle which is 50 upon 80 into 300 million, which is 190 million. Uber's market penetration is about 50% of general population in US because it's probably, it is the leading uh, car hailing uh, app. So uh, let's say 
50 percent of 190 million so that's about 100 million now total number of rides on uber every day is like for power users it's 20 percent of 100 million into one by seven because once every once every week so that's 2.8 million rides 40% of 100 million once every month is 1.3 million rights and 20% of 100 million once every year is 0 0.05 million rights. That's about, uh, if you sum them up, 4.15 million rights every day. Now you can do a sanity check if you have time uh, from a driver's side, meaning if the market is in equilibrium, all the drivers always are occupied with uh, rights. And then you can actually uh, segment the drivers with uh, always driving. Like you can, you can have the number of hours. Like uh, you can say power drivers, medium drivers, and low drivers in a day. So if for power drivers can be like ten plus hours or eight plus hours, like then medium drivers can be like four hours and lower drivers can be like one or two hours uh, a day and then uh, see how many uh, what on an average one ride might might take about an hour so see how many total ride hours are available on the driver side and that should match with this so uh, just to do a sanity check you can you can go the other way around and just before you start explaining the answer to your interviewer you can just do that calculation as well uh, but yeah it's totally not needed and you can just walk through this answer with the interviewer hopefully you liked uh, my today's uh, problem uh, let me know in comment section uh, if you want me to improve something uh, also, if you have liked it, uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, because uh, there are more such questions going to come your way. So, yeah. Take care and keep practicing. Thanks.